and there's a holiday for you, but it's really controversial and we're confused. Nice! I have a holiday? Well, caramba! I should! <laughs> No, no, dude. No, what in the world? All right, guys, we have to do something that I've been holding off for a long time. It's time to talk about Prager U Kids. If you don't know what Prager U Kids is, basically, it's a whole uh, propaganda outlet for Prager U and Conservative Inc. in the country. Uh, it is a billionaire backed and funded. Uh, kids program. So if, if you ever remember back in school where you had to do like Tim and Moby or Pop Tropica or cool math games, basically conservatives tried to make one for themselves. But instead of teaching you like math and science and history and reading and grammar, they want to teach you about how like women should know their place and America is the greatest country in the world and freedom fighters who were like too mean to the system that was abusing people are like bad and should be hated and then people who were only appreciated after they were long dead are the only ones that should uh be taken taken seriously because they didn't rock the boat too much right um and also all the guys that were that you've been told recently actually did a whole lot of crimes against humanity actually weren't that bad and the things that they did, eh, the, some of those people had it coming. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating because today we're going to be talking about the Prager U. We're going to be talking about Prager U Kids entire little starter bit on Christopher Columbus. Yes, Christopher Columbus, slavery guy supreme, the man who helped wipe out 100 million Native Americans from the American continent. Yes, that man indeed. I'm going to be talking about that guy and the conservative spin on it. And you may be wondering why I decided now is the time to talk about this stuff again. Well, let me tell you, it's because Florida actually decided under the DeSantis administration that PragerU videos are now going to be allowed in the classroom. So as they've been actively destroying black history and teaching a bad, incorrect or non-existent black history in Florida schools, as per the orders of DeSantis and his, and his education administration, they're now going to be supplanting it with, well, this. Oh, hey, what's up with the face? You look stressed. I'm just doing some research. Was today weird for you? Yeah, how'd you guess? Columbus Day, or Native American Day, or Indigenous Peoples Day. It's weird, right? Yeah, some of the teachers at my school really don't like Christopher Columbus and don't think he should have a holiday, but some do. It's the same with my teachers, and even some kids got into arguments about it today. You finding any good info? Kind of, but it's real mixed. That's good, just so you know. Like, it's good that you have that type of debate and everything, and you question people who you you were told to, like, herald as heroes or kings or saviors or something throughout society i think that's great actually every single person that we hold up in society as today as like being great or amazing should be critically analyzed i think personally but you can see the propaganda building right like all the things that people say that uh th th that are bad about christopher columbus actually aren't that bad but you know we'll talk about it because columbus was pretty ruthless and he hurt a lot of people and killed many more so i guess we'll see I guess we'll see, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Questions bad, right? I guess we'll see. The side against Columbus says he was a really mean guy who spread slavery, disease, and violence to people who would have been better off if he'd never gone to the New World. Now, all of that is actually true. Now, you can say in spite of that, he helped find find the find the American continent uh, through his through his excursions, but like. All of those things are actually real and true and factual. Like all of these, you can't say that they're not. <laughs> Ouch. I know, but the size <laughs> Slavery. Youch. <laughs> true. Slavery was indeed an ouch. A hun hundred million dead. Oof, ow, ouchy. The, uh, I'm right? Yikes. Slavery. Yikes. Uh, smallpox blankets. Yikes. Oof, even. You're right. For him, since he was a really courageous guy who loved exploring, inspired generations, and spread Christianity and Western civilization to people who really benefited from new ways of thinking and doing things. 
here's the thing is that that doesn't necessarily have to be untrue. All right. Even let's 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 take for a moment that some of those things are true. And I will and like you can make some argument that like I that that like some people benefited from Christopher Columbus's involvement in anything. Sure. Let's say let's just take that. Let's just say that for a second. OK, that doesn't make the un, other part that he said untrue or any less worth talking about. Um, but the way in which especially the way in which that they spread that Christianity, I will say, is a, a, a big problem. But we'll talk about that. That sounds really good. I know. What do you think? Which side is right? I don't know. They could it easily both really be right. And slavery both is still bad. Are just giving their opinions. It would be cool. What? One side is actually. Wait, what? One side is actually super analytical, where it's like he spread disease, he did slavery. And he killed a lot of people. Those are real facts. Those aren't opinions. Those are facts. Also, let me bring this up for you. Stinkos. Um, th those are not opinions. Those are facts. People benefited more after his involvement and after he gave them Christianity. That's a, that's a huge opinion, right? What do you mean by benefit? What did they lose? What, what, what path did they take that they could have, that, that, that they didn't take, you know, not because of his involvement. All of those things are things that you need to think about. And are not things that you get with this understanding. And but like killing people, that's real. You can put a number to that. Well, I, well, at least when it comes to Christopher Columbus's involvement and the European involvement with the with the with the states, actually, it's act, it's actually really hard to put a number to that because so many people died. But you know, cool to hear from you know the source. Huh? Huh? You want us to go talk to Christopher Columbus, don't you? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Time to go I see Columbus. <laughs> The fact that I, the, what tells me that I know that this is super unreal, the, the fact that tells me that this is super unreal is that they went to Christopher Columbus and they didn't die of smallpox because we know that these kids are unvaxxed with the, with the type of family that they came from. We know that these bitches are unvaxxed. They'd be dead as hell. They'd be on life support when they came back. They'd be, they, they, they'd be patient zero for smallpox in their neighborhood when they came back. <laughs> It's Cumbus. Don't be alarmed, this sir. Very real. They hit him with the goddamn do not be afraid. <laughs> he hit him with the be not afraid like they're angels. That's crazy. I would say they're pretty scary. You're right. Scary blue ass eyes. That's true. What is what? Look at this yee ass fit that he's got going on. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm wrapping up the <laughs> wildest journey. Maybe that anyone's ever taken. Hello, it is me, Christopher Columbus. I am here going on the greatest journey that anyone has ever been on the seas. So true, Cumbus. Nothing phases me. What, you from the future? How'd you guess? <laughs> is this racist to Italian? Yeah, it's like, it's more Slavic than Italian, but it's like racist to Italian. Hello, it is me, real Italian, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Anyways. Either that or Indians? I've huh? kind of had a hard time telling who's what lately. I'm Layla. He's my brother, Leah. I bet you and do. We need to learn about you. We live 500 years from now, and there's a holiday for you, but it's really controversial, and we're confused. Nice. I have a holiday? Well, caramba. I should. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> no, what in the world? You can't, you can't. <laughs> uh, I <ay>, caramba. <laughs> so good i i love I, I i i love the the spanglish oh man this is illegal is that even an italian stereotype it's spanish <laughs> it's spanish
That's crazy. Didn't didn't Compass think he was going to India? Yes, that's why he named Native Americans Indians, and and we and you know they call them, um, the Indians call it maize. Yeah, that's why he thought he actually thought he was in India for a while, and so that's why we say Indians. But no, they're not Indians actually. They're Native Americans that are not from India. Ay, caramba! Where's my <laughs> chalup? <laughs> I've worked so hard to get to this point, and what I just accomplished was insane. Will you tell us about your journey? Allow me to give you a little biographical information so it all makes sense. Okay. I okay. was raised in the port town of Genoa along the Mediterranean Sea. My papa was a wool weaver, and most boys just did whatever their dads did. But I was different. Every day I would look out at the sea and wonder what was- This is Spanish again. Out there beyond just what I could see. <laughs> I see what you did there. So I you were life. curious? See. And so as a teenager and a young man, I did everything I could to cure my curious nature. I volunteered for all kinds of crazy sea adventures, and I took my first one at 14. Wow. Did they know he was Italian? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Like, d just so you know, this is unironically how... Th this is unironically how the Flor some Florida kids are going to understand Christopher Columbus now, which I think is remarkable. I think this is more offensive than, like, removing his day and calling it Indigenous People's Day. Because I think he would like kill someone. He would have he would go into a duel if you called him Spanish and not Italian. Which I think is even more funny. Oh. Yeah. And soon sailed yeah. to Iceland, Ireland, and Africa. I taught myself. We don't talk about that one. We don't talk about that one. Many languages and read everything I could about geography, astronomy, and exploration, including my favorite book, Slave the Torture: Travels of Marco Polo. Marco Polo. Uh, okay. Oh, it's a game we play in swimming pools. Never mind. Never mind. Marco Polo is the greatest explorer who ever lived. Okay, let's get forward a bit. And that opened up the desire and opportunity to figure out a path by the sea. We, we do a little genocide. It's called We Do a Little Genocide. It's so important okay. about getting from Europe to Asia. Leo, we want to trade. They have so much cool stuff. Yeah, that's what they like want to do. India, China, and the Spice Islands. Let you don't understand how many opioids this China can fit. This bad boy can fit so many opiates. <laughs> you don't even get it. We want we want to trade, you see. Trade many things. We have many, many a thing to trade. You see, we love the economy. Let me guess. Spices. <laughs> Smarty pants. If you tried our Middle Ages European food, you would know how much we need those spices. So you wanted to get spices from Asia and make a lot of money? No, I wanted to explore the world and see things that nobody where I'm from had ever seen before. But I did. Columbus wanted money, bro. He wanted to he wanted to go to India for gold and money. For gold and spices to sell them for money. It, it's not like I'm so, like I'm sorry, but like he didn't do all this to because because out of the kindness of his heart and he wanted to see the world. He would have just done it then. <laughs> Uh, he wanted to be sanctioned by the king and he was claiming he was claiming the, the, the wherever he landed for for like the crown of Britain, England, and not just because he loves doing stuff. He wasn't just a guy who liked doing things. This is crazy. The propaganda is crazy. Didn't have enough money for a crazy sea adventure, so I had to get a sponsor. I needed to convince a really rich person to pay for my trips. Ah, so you had to be persuasive and tell somebody that paying for your trip would make them even more money. You get to explore, and they get spices and stuff from Asia to sell and make a profit. Correcto! So since the Muslims <laughs> cut off all the land trade routes to Asia, and we Europeans... Why'd they do that? Why'd they do that? You really? The Muslims! Why'd you say the Muslims? You didn't even say like a, like, like a specific empire? The Muslims! What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. You all know about them. The Muslims. <laughs> Ooh, Ottoman Empire, anything or? Okay.
Moors and all that. Moors and whatnot. You know how you know how Moors are and all that. And still wanted Asian things. I came up with a crazy plan to get there by sailing west. Why was that crazy? Because no one knew if it could be done. Is that because people thought the world was flat? No, that's a myth. Since the time of the yes, ancient Greeks, some some of them did actually believe that it was very flat. Galileo, okay. Greeks educated people have known the world is round and could possibly be sailed around. But Earth was believed to be so big that with so much ocean between Europe and Asia, no way could a ship hold enough food and water for its crew to survive a westward journey between the continents. You thought differently? Eh, I did my own calculations and thought, eh, maybe could be done. I might have played with the numbers a bit, but I was desperate me when to I lie. Try. Sounds like your sponsor needed to be desperate too. I first asked the king of Portugal, but his advisors told him my plan would never work, so he said no. Then I tried Spain, Stupid advisors. and they said no too. But after six years of bugging their king and queen, Ferdinand and Isabella, I finally got them to agree to pay for my voyage west out to the great unknown. It took six years? Why did they finally get- <laughs> Columbus is the first libertarian guy looking for an Asian wife. True, he's the OG libertarian guy for with his looking for his Asian queen, his East Asian goddess. Oh man, his Far East female. She is out there for me. I'll do anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend these six years propositioning the king to go find her. She will be mine. Give in. Only they can know for sure. But it's probably no coincidence that after hundreds of years of fighting to kick the Muslim invaders out of their country Muslim in what invaders? was known as the Reconquista, the Spanish monarch sent me on a mission to find new trade. Muslim invaders? Okay. Bro, like Spain, what do you mean? Spain wasn't even, <laughs> Spain was so many like disparate kingdoms. Like what you, how can you say, mu that's their home. Invasion, you mean their house? <laughs> Okay, sure. I guess. Listen, Europe. Europe is for the white Christians, not for them. Not for them Muslims. There's there were no Muslims in the, on the European continent that were not invaders. I guess. Sure, sure, buddy. They're literally conquered by the Visigoths. Yeah. It's, I don't know. It's just crazy. They're invaders. Truly, the crazy invaders. Like I looked up. I I, I was looking. I was doing some research into the history of Spain. Uh, like not too long ago, and like Spain's history is. Like Spain, the reason why Spain is the, the shape that is it that it that it is is because they like ate so many smaller kingdoms and and peoples and cultures and then just like crushed it into one one blob that is Spain that we know of today. Um and they tried to take Portugal as well. But like the idea that Muslims in that area are invaders is just insane to me. They're all invaders. <laughs> Roots and maybe even find I love how he never even names a group. He's just like so the Muslims. Spain was broke and needed money. They were desperate. Mm, you said it, not me. But Ferdinand Iberian and Isabella Union. took a wild chance on my crazy idea. And here we are. I'm now sailing back to Spain to show off all kinds of amazing things I found. How many human beings do you have captured on the ship, sir? And tell of the wonders of the lands I've seen. Okay, now that we have the backstory, we've got some questions. There are a lot of people in our Yo, do they does he go do they go under the ship to see the slave quarters and then they interview the slaves down there? That, that's what they need to do. They need to go down to see the slave quarter to see if they the slave deck to see to go like talk to the slaves. Can you imagine if they did that and they're like chained up fucking slaves and like to like chained to the goddamn floor? And then he goes, and then the, like uh they interview them and they go Christopher Columbus is one of the greatest people of, of, of all time. <laughs> As he's slowly dying of smallpox chained to the floor. That would be wicked. Acted once you found all these amazing things in these new lands. Ah, that's right. You said I'm controversial. You have no idea. I've got nothing to hide. Ask away. Okay, first. Oh, here we your go. Your sailing plan was right and all your doubters were wrong. Well, they were wrong that my crew and I were going to die because after 10 weeks of sailing west, we spotted land. Your trip was 10 weeks? You can't even handle a two-hour car ride. Ah, greatness requires patience. 
You know the land you found wasn't India, right? Really? Caramba! I <laughs> sus <laughs> Stop! Stop! Please stop! You can't do- you can't keep doing this! I, caramba, is me, Christopher Colomb. <laughs> oh, I need a chimichanga, Columbus. 1,500 slaves. Oh. <laughs> oh, they should have given him a new, honestly, it would be more accurate if they gave him like a New York Italian accent while he's sitting there eating a sandwich of gabagoo the entire time. You know what I mean? That would have been more accurate than this. This is crazy to me to have like, to have like a Mexican guy playing Christopher Columbus and making him sound Spanish while playing a Spanish guitar in the background for an Italian guy is wild to me. This is Fredophobia, you're right. Expected something was a little off, but my calculations suggested I had reached India, or at least the Far East. So what happened when you met the native people, who obviously discovered the land before you did, the Indians? The first people we met were great, the Taino. They were peaceful, curious, and really helpful. I, I could what, tell right what happened away to them. that they were highly intelligent. They even were able to quickly mimic everything we said to them. I ordered my men to treat them well. I'm sorry, Mr. Columbus, but I heard at school that you spoiled paradise and you brought slavery and murder to peaceful people. Leo? <laughs> sorry. It's what I read and heard at school. Caramba! Stop! Those are some accusations. The place I discovered was beautiful, but it wasn't exactly a paradise of civilization. Well, you know, the Indians, they were killing each other, so what's the problem with us doing it? <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, did you know that some of them did, like, s scalpings? That's crazy. So, basically, we kind of, we fix them. We fix them. We fix them. Accusations. Civilization? We fix them. The native people were far from peaceful. But you just said the Taino were peaceful. They pretty much are. But there are other tribes who aren't. The Taino I had met had cuts and scars and bruises all over them. I asked why, and they told me about the Caribs, who are vicious, warring cannibals. Cannibals? Like they- Eat people, see. Whoa. Right? Stop. Hey, all the things that are bad in the world, I come- The gory history of Europe's mummy-eating fad? Feeling ill in the 15th century Europe? This, this is when Cumbus was, was doing his stuff. The remedy for your headaches, stomach ailments, and, or cancer might be a side of Egyptian mummy. Ah, uh, you know, cannibals. We had to stop them cannibals, you know what I mean? Come from jealousy, lying, murder, war. It all exists in the land I just found too. Ah, they are humans. Europe, we draw the line at things like eating people and human sacrifice. Burning, literally eating mummies, burning at the stake. Okay. Some of the native folks from where I just left do those things regularly. Us so Europeans, we would never do something in like your that. Your time, who think it was a peaceful paradise, are misinformed or lying. Yeah, but what about slavery? You didn't deny that. Deny? No. Slavery is as old as time and has taken place in every corner of the world even amongst the people I just left. Being taken as a slave is better than being killed, no? I Sometimes no. Sometimes absolutely not. <laughs> Actually, well, you know, I mean, like we didn't kill them. They're still alive. I mean, come on, come on, cut me some slack. We only took a couple of slaves. I mean, come on, 1,500. It's, a, it's not even a larger amount. They won't even last that long. I give them 20 years max. Come on. It's not even a big deal. I don't see the problem. Well, I don't see the problem with slavery. Well, in our time, we view slavery as being evil and terrible. Ah, magnifico. That's wonderful. I am glad humanity has reached such a time. But you said you're from... 500 years in the future? Well, as you, you can't expect me to not take human beings as slaves. I live in the 500 years. Even even when even in the time of of Cumbus, 
the the type of what he he was seeing is like uniquely brutal in, in the type of slavery that he was doing in the type of subjugation torture maiming like Cummins was very much clearly proves that wrong dying on their own terms yeah dying on their own terms suicides aboard slave ships bro i would i'd kill myself too I, I'd take the first opportunity. You do, are you crazy with the, with the type of life that, that, that you think that these people are about to live? No, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Cutting off people's hands, like the hanging by the ribs, like the type of crazy stuff that, um, like the uniquely brutal nature of Christopher Columbus's ex expeditions to, um, the, the American continent where was not lost on people even in his era it's crazy to me assault you know of the sexual variety there's it's not it's not like the idea that oh everybody was doing this is just such a lie it's such a crazy lie is that why would you be running so much water for slavery is it really that bad to think that you're that you're that your problematic faith would have slaves is it really that that insane to you for you to just be like, yeah, the slavery they did was really bad? Do you really have to play that th this many games genuinely? Yeah, unless they're just okay with slavery, right? How can you come here to the 15th century and judge me by your standards from the 21st century? I need slaves. For those in the future to look back and do this is well, estupido. I hate my life so fucking much. And on top of this, e even the type of slavery that existed, like indentured servitude, is not the same as chattel slavery, like the type of slavery that Europeans brought to the to to the Americas and Africa. Even that is like way different. Still not good, terrible, and should put you in prison for life, but still even different. And it's just they pick I don't know, it's just you all you can you just have to say, yeah, it's really bad. Yeah, they invented slavery 2.0. Are you calling me dumb? Certainly not. I can he tell literally you're just a said very that. smart young lady. But the idea of throwing away the past because of your present values is... Listen, I love... Seems pretty, seems pretty right. Why in the world should we stay tied to the history that we don't like anymore? Why, why, would, she, why, would, she stay, why would we stay tied to history that does not conform with our values anymore? Why? Why do I need to be peer pressured by dead people and to keep into venerating them when they're bad people? Even in their own time, they're bad people. Slaver thinks you shouldn't think bad about him for thinking slavery is good? And I'm thankful for Crazy. the ancient Greeks, but they did lots of things that here in 1493, I do not agree with. They permitted lifestyles and worshiped gods that, as a Christian, I think is very bad, but that how in the world is this guy have it going to have more more things to say about gay sex this guy is going to condemn gay sex more than slavery <laughs> this guy's going to condemn gay gay butthole sex more than slavery yeah okay that's prager you all right that's like democracy true the senate they had a senate you're right they put pee pee in poo poo hole and they had the and they had a senate and not a king and honestly i can't i can't support that i can't support that we can't support that here slavery all right doesn't mean i shouldn't respect and honor all the incredible and amazing things they did so good and bad is based on the time you live in that is a great question i told you i knew you were smart some how in the world can you be christian but also like a moral relativist that's my thing is that they're only a moral relative. How can you be like this type of Christian and be a moral relativist? How does that even work? Like, I, I feel like you're just a moral relativist when you don't want to say somebody did something bad because they did slavery. You know, like these people would be would happily throw out like a like like a like somebody who did something. These people throw out people like Harvey Milk because he was gay. But then they love Christopher Columbus because he like because he like sailed a ship to America on accident. But he's but he's better, I guess. Sure. The Spanish Inquisition run by Isabel Ferdinand literally burned uh, class. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But listen, who cares? I guess it doesn't listen as long as is, is it if it's good for my values at the moment, then it's based. If it's not, then it's crunch. Some things are clearly bad, no matter when they happen. Slavery. But for other things, before you judge, 
you must ask yourself, what did the culture and society at the time treat as no big deal? Not everyone can time travel as you do and see how normal No becomes. big deal. Very not normal. Slavery, no big deal. Okay. Some things are, some things aren't. <sighs> Sounds complicated. It is, and so is life. And history can be too. If people in your time want to celebrate me for being a perfect hero, then they are very mistaken. Only my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is perfect. And I hope to spread his teaching to all the lands I find that don't know his name. But if people in your time want to celebrate the guts I had to hundred million this must die, world, start it, survive it, and get back to tell about it, well, that seems pretty good for any time and age. I think you're right. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Columbus. You're a courageous explorer, and you've given me a lot to think about. You know what? This could, I really think that this honestly could possibly be grounds for a lawsuit with like the way they're trying to push religion here, the way they're like, they only talk down m Muslims and then they only talked up Christians. You could ease, you could easily like file like a religious discrimination or a religious indoctrination type of lawsuit that is not even, you, you can very, I think you could definitely do that here 100%. I didn't know slavery being bad was such a complicated topic. I guess. Thank this you, is sir. vile propaganda. It's crazy propaganda. You're welcome, kids. Now, let me lock you up and show you to the king and queen of Spain. Ah, ah I'm just kidding. You're white. You can get out. Get the fuck off my boat. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, you want to see Pocahontas? <laughs> Oh, you don't know how many Indians I got tied up under my ship right now. Oh, man. Oh, if you saw, if you saw the scars we left on these people, this wouldn't be PG-13 anymore. <laughs> Holy. If you are black, I will escort you below. <laughs> oh, I'm 80% sure it was on uh, Douglas. I'm sorry. Wait, what happened? This made an episode about Frederick Douglass. We covered it already. We actually checked the community tab on the YouTube channel. I put people on the new, uh, on the old hotness. Yeah, we covered it when it dropped. The second that this stuff dropped, we did a video on their, on their Frederick Douglass thing where they said that uh, John Brown was evil and that Frederick Douglass um, actually um, loved slave owners and they were actually his besties. But he didn't like their methods because it was kind of mean sometimes and being a slave was kind of difficult at times, but like, he learned hard work and dedication. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, I think it's called Prager U commits a crime against humanity because I think in a just world they, that would put, that should put them that should get them tried at the Hague. That's just me, though. Just kidding. Safe travels, my friends. Bye. 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 So what, let's see. Let's see what they gained from this whole experience. They sure had a crazy life. He made three more journeys across the ocean to the new world. Thank and you, it Cumbus. seems like most of the negative reports about him come from people who were his competition for things. I don't think slaves. I mean, I guess you're right. The people, the people who have bad things to say about Christopher Columbus were definitely the people who did not want to be enslaved. That is that is true. A hundred million must die. Let's not talk about the smallpox. <laughs> Listen. Oh, that's crazy. They didn't talk about the smallpox blankets at all. They just like pretended that shit did not exist. All right. I think Christopher Columbus was a villain and maybe he wasn't a hero, but he sure did some heroic things that are definitely worth celebrating. And a lot of the things we judge him for now. Okay, he doesn't need a day. Now we're just normal in his time. No, they weren't. You never know, Leo. Maybe some of the things we're told are fine today will be considered evil or crazy in the future. Don't worry. What the shit that you're doing right now is already evil and crazy. This whole thing is. This is remarkable to me. But being courageous and wanting to explore the world are things worth admiring in any century. I'm suffering, guys. I don't know if I can keep this up. My, I, that, I felt that one in my soul. I really don't know if that was better or worse than the Frederick Douglass one, but yeah, I don't know, man. The slavery apologia on all of these videos is just, like, remarkable to me. It's, it's genuinely, it blows my mind how they just can't let the slavery is bad thing go. They can't, they can't, they can't do it. What heroic things. I don't know. He like sailed a boat. 
a couple times. The thing is, like, the courageous things that he did, they weren't even necessarily that courageous. He just, like, he piloted a boat a couple of times, and he accidentally found a place that he didn't even mean to be at. Like, sure, I guess we can remember him from for doing that, but trying to make it some, like, big thing is only something that we, that we want to do ourselves, you know? We don't even talk about Amerigo Ves Vescu Vespucci. We don't even talk about that guy. That guy killed that guy killed less Native Americans and took less slaves and like and the actual continent is named after him. And he found it first. But why do we have to talk about the guy who did all the slavery? Bro is like just kind of evil, even in his own timeline. It's wild to me that they want to try to defend this type of stuff. But whatever, I guess they are Prager. All the only thing I, the, the people I feel the, the worst for, honestly, are the children who are going to be fed this propaganda and lie as long as at least DeSantis is in office, which is something that I don't think anybody should stand for. This is actual super villain types of propaganda that's gross and I don't think anyone should stand for it. It's terrible. Disgusting. As expected, still hurt though. Still hurt a lot. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, boo.